My name is Jie Yu. I'm currently a research fellow in the cardiovascular division at the George Institute for Global Health, supervised by Associate Professor Bear Arnold. I completed my PhD in cardiology at the Peking University in 2007 and experienced as resident physician, attending physician, cardiologist, and interventional cardiologist and associate professor at the Peking University Health Hospital from 2001 to 2018. I'm also a recipient of the Australian Global Talent Program, an emerging leader membership of ISSH, and joint senior lecturer at the UNSW as well as the UNICINI. Thank you. Cardiometabolic disease prevention and management and commits to conduct high quality research focused on salt reduction strategies, particularly in low middle income countries. I led the Endpoint Adjudication Committee in the Salt Substitute and the Stroke Study and was the principal investigator in the Salt Substitute in India Study. It is the first trial in rural India to assess the effects of salt substitute on blood pressure. Additionally, I have been accumulated strong experiences in translating research findings to impact clinical practice through the CANVAS program and the CREDENCE trial. One of my publications, Effects of Canagliflozine on Myocardial Infarction, uh, it's a post hoc analysis, which was published in cardiovascular research this March. So this post hoc analysis first evaluated the effect of SGLT2 canagliflozine on myocardial infarction subtypes using individual patient data and meta-analysis of the CANVAS program and credits trial, which are very important hypotheses generating information to stimulate future mechanistic research on thrombose formation. I am exploring more evidence to improve the treatments and management of population with cardiovascular disease. One side is to promote the wild use of salt substitution on broader scale from clinical perspective. The other side is to provide powerful evidence to expand the awareness and application of SGLT2 inhibitors, not only limited patients with type 2 diabetes, but also with other comorbidities. Thank you. My goal in the next five years is to re-establish myself as an independent physician scientist in Australia. I am keen to advocate the application of reduced sodium added potassium salt substitution among patients with hypertension in low middle income countries, as well as those low middle income people in Australia, because this is a low cost, effective and safe intervention to control blood pressure. Also, I hope to build up a continuously developing network to attract more early middle career cardiologists in China to collaborate with medical scientists globally to ideally integrate resources and conduct large scale clinical research in the field of hypertension. My career trajectory in China was ascending and smooth, being an adventurer. Being an adventurer, I chose to leave and commence my career in a new country because I have a strong passion for clinical research. I am fortunate to have had the privilege to work with many mentors at the Georgia Institute for Global Health since my first days in Australia, such as Professor Bruce New, who leads me in a promising thought world, and Professor Harold Schutt, who provides me with the ISH platform, particularly Associate Professor Claire Arnold, who provides invaluable guidance, as well as Professor Gemma Victory, who brings me into the fantastic Australian healthcare settings. Reduce the sodium added potassium salt substitute on blood pressure in rural Indian hypertensive patients or RCT trial is my proudest one. So, firstly, it is the first salt substitute intervention, RCT, to support the use of salt substitute for home use as a low cost and practical intervention to reduce blood pressure among hypertensive patients in rural India. Secondly, I think it's very important because it demonstrated my career transition from a clinician, from a cardiologist, to a researcher through each step of RCT, including project grant application, proposal development, project conduction, and the final trial result report. And also, this trial is very likely completed during um, COVID-19 pandemic. So thanks my team members here again. Importantly, it shaped my research spirit, team collaboration, and critical thinking.
literature from Nancy Citrus titled Effect of Low Sodium Intake on Health, Systematic Review and Meta Analysis, which was published in, B in BMJ in 2013. This article should be one of those thought-related publications which impact me most because the findings provided strong scientific evidence that reduced the sodium intake, reduced blood pressure, and the low sodium intake was also associated with a reduced risk of stroke and fatal coronary heart disease in adults.